This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Ah, well, so cool. So listen, we're, we're now back. Ring of Honor returns. You're entered into the pure title tournament to reactivate the belt that wasn't used for a long time. How important was the pure title to you, Jonathan? It was super important to me because um, when I came into Ring of Honor, I did everything to get to Ring of Honor, uh, you know, and I got my first deal in 2013, I think it was, 2017, sorry, 2017. And um, when I finally signed, uh, I, I was loosely paying attention to the product. I was so busy with my own stuff, traveling back and forth around the world and stuff. And when I finally got my deal and I wrestled a few shows, I looked around and I was like, wait a minute, this place isn't what I remember it being. Stylistically, it had changed. Um, it had become a little more corporate, which is a good thing in so many ways. But stylistically, uh, the promotion had changed. When it was more centered around competition and, and grappling and things of that nature, it had kind of become, in my eyes, uh, kind of the same that everything else has kind of become. So I, I asked myself, how can I differentiate myself knowing that I wrestle this particular way and uh, there's no place in America really that caters to that style of wrestling. And so I just kept having this conversation with myself until I, I realized that there is a large demographic of the Ring of Honor fan base that appreciates and, 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 and misses the pure wrestling division. So that idea pretty much became my character. It became my voice. It just became who I am within the Ring of Honor universe and who I am pretty much as a wrestler in, in general. Um, so I used that, uh, that idea uh, and anybody that would listen from the promoter to the referee, I was talking about it for, for a long time. And um, the opportunity came when the pandemic hit, they needed to rebrand, they needed to come back with something new and fresh. And um, they finally decided that it would be the pure tournament. Um, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, a lot of guys like Yuji Nagata and guys from all over the world were announced for the tournament before the pandemic hit. Um, at the time, I was uh, champs with Lethal, the tag champs. And, um, you know, there was no way that they were going to put me over for the pure tournament and the title at the time. But then the pandemic hit. Um, and then because of it, a lot of the talents they were going to use they could no longer use. Uh, and maybe I, I'm wrong, but I'd like to feel that I was not in the cards to win it. Um, and at that point, after everybody was taken away, the only person that made sense at that time was me. I'd been preaching it for years at that point. So um, I guess they just decided to go with me. And uh, the rest is kind of history after that. Was that your biggest career achievement at that point, winning the tournament? I think so. I think so. Sure. Um, there's one other one during the, um, the lethal one, uh, when lethal asked to wrestle me and we wrestled in North Carolina because of that match in North Carolina, the office started to see something in me and they gave me two more matches with lethal. The third match ended up being, um, probably the biggest match to that point of my career was, uh, me versus lethal in a 30 minute Ironman match. And it was in the main event of the, um, center stage show in my hometown here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was able to challenge for the world title in front of my family and friends. So for me, that was like the biggest match uh, of my career. So then this one would be, you know, knowing that the tournament was being brought back a lot because of myself uh, preaching and asking for it. Um, yeah. I look at that as like being really big and like uh, super important for my career that I was actually able to happen. And the company was investing in an idea that I had preached about for so long. So yeah, I think so. Well, dude, you certainly did bring it back and, and make it successful once again. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.